Greetings, my precious viewers. Here is Nicola from nnweb.net. Welcome to my new tutorial. Today, actually, this won't be a project-based tutorial. Instead, I want to show you the one very popular WordPress theme, Ocean WP theme. And I want to show you how to change few options, go to customizer and see the bunch of features. This is the free theme, but it has some paid feature and extensions. This is the first episode in, uh, I think, short video series about this theme. So Ocean WP theme you can find in WordPress themes. If uh, I already installed it, but if you click on add, new, uh, add theme, you can find it beneath the tab popular, activate this team. I already installed it, click on activate. And this uh, team recommends some plugins. Uh, WP forms uh, Elementor, free page builder, and I think, um, just wait a second. Yes, Ocean Extra plugin. I installed the Elementor and Ocean Extra, and for now I I don't want WP forms. So let's go to the team panel. Here you can run the setup wizard if you want. First tab is welcome, then choosing the demo. I will show you in second customizer and get ready to see your website from there's demo. Okay. For now, skip setup a wizard. Let's go to the team panel again. And here you can find your library, scripts and styles, import and export. Here is the demos. You can filter the, through these categories. And if you want to install MegaGym, for example, it is a very simple. Just click, choose one and go to steps. Okay, here is the add-ons. You can find here the free one and read about them or you can find the paid ones. Okay, now let's go to see how our I don't know, homepage or latest post, recent posts page look like with Ocean WP team. Go to customizer. Wait a few seconds to open it. I won't cover all of this feature in this episode, but I will do some. So let's go from the top. Click on site identity. I already make site title and here is the tagline for example testing area for ocean wp team here you can set the site icon this icon here okay if you click on menus you can create one menu because we for now we didn't create it if you don't know how to create let's check our video about that the link will be here in the right top bottom corner and i didn't mention you that the most of my tutorials was filmed with Ocean WP team, and in the description I will put some of them. Okay, here we have the location for menu. You can place it in top bar or main menu uh, here, or footer, or to change mobile. Also, you can create your menu if you click here, or choose if you already created, or import from another source. Okay. Let's see the widgets panel. Here, this is the default sidebar. Search, recent posts, recent comments. 
you can uh, reorder it, add a new. This is a bunch of widgets that this team support. Also, you can remove it and footer. This is the footer widget area and this is the footer area. In the footer widget area, you have the four cells, one, two, three, and four. And for example, in footer one, I want to add a widget. Let's see the contact info, for example. Okay. And just wait a few seconds to display it. Why you didn't pop up? This is something, some kind of bug because in my, before the film of this video, this contact info work. I don't know. I don't know where the problem is. Let's add in footer to something else, for example, Instagram. Now it is working strange. Let's delete this and go in footer one again, add a widget, add about me. Again, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Maybe the Ocean WP team has some kind of bug, but Never mind. Maybe in the future I will film one video, for example, how to create the footer without spend any money, without paid add-ons or plugins. Okay, let's go on home page settings, and here you can make your your home page displays to be a latest post. Uh, just like here, or you can choose a static page, your home page. I already create this page, but let's put to be default. And general options, here we have a few more options. General styling, you can change the primary color. This shade of blue, it's primary, and you can change it to be red, for example. Always you can back to default value. Here is a hover. If you have any links here, see? Okay. You can change the, you can change the background color or links color and hover state for those links. Okay. General settings. And this is quite inter interesting part because in layout style default is wide but you can choose boxed and your main content is here in this 1280 pixels you can change those colors content width in percentage sidebar width you can choose your layouts and so on it is the best, the best practice is to experiment with those options or features and click here, click here, and this is the best pipeline for development of, of your website and to get to know to this team. Here is the options for page title. You can enable breadcrumbs, position, and so on. Okay. You can change the scroll up button. I don't have enough content, but this icon, this button will pop up here if I scroll down. You can change the arrow icon and choose the another options. Here is the pagination. Forms input text area options. 
15 buttons here or 404 error page. You can make your own template. For example, let's let's type to see some ideas. Look, it is a bunch of them on Google and you can take inspiration and make your own. Okay, guys, the another options we can see in next episode. This is not the this is the first one in this short series about Ocean WP team for now. If you like my content, if you like this video, or give me thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming WordPress related videos. In near future, I have few surprises for you. I'm going to make the another kind of tutorials for uh, HTML at CSS from ground up from zero. So thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial. Bye bye.